calculus is about the study of variations of functions such as distance, current, volume as a function of um, a variable which can be time, for example. Let's start with a simple example. A linear function, function d and the variable it's t. The function is linear. Let's consider the first two points and define what we call the slope, S. So the slope is defined as delta y1 delta x1, the ratio delta y1 over delta x1. If we consider any, two po any other two points on the line, so this is going to be now delta x2, delta y2. The two slopes are equal because the two triangles, the two right triangles are similar and therefore the ratio delta y over delta x is the same everywhere. Therefore, the slope might be used uh, to measure the variation of d in terms of t. If, for example, d is a distance in meters, time is a t in seconds, the unit of the slope s will be in meter per seconds, and therefore the slope indicates the rate of change of d in terms of t. The question that we might ask now, what if the, uh, uh, the function is not a linear one? Let's consider the following example of a function f of x uh, 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 in terms of x. So, let's take the first two points, draw a line, so the points are a and b, draw a line through the two points and call the slope through AB as S1. Now, if instead of taking B, I take another point C, draw the line through AC, the slope will be S2, and the problem is S1 is not equal to S2. Visually, we can see that the two slopes are not equal and this creates problems. If we want to define the variation of this function in terms of the slopes, it's going to depend on the point that we select. Now let's see if we can solve the problem of the slope not being constant. So let's take a point A here. Let's take point B, second through them. And what we are going to do is to make the distance along x, delta x, smaller and smaller, so that b approaches a, which is shown in the video below. So b is converging towards a. The second became a tangent to the graph touching the graph at one point only. Graphically, we can see that at each point on the graph, there will be only one tangent, and therefore the slope of this tangent may be used as a measure of variation at a given point or local variation. The value of the slope at point A is called the derivative of function f at point A. The next question is how to find the slope of this tangent. Now, let's consider the uh, following graph. Take two points A and B. The x-coordinates of A is x1. The x-coordinate of B is x1 plus delta x. We start with the slope of the second which is equal to delta y over delta x. This is delta x and this is delta y. Now, to find the slope of the tangent to a when delta x approaches zero, 
now we'll give it another name so it's the slope of the tangent we are going to say that it's the limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches zero which is also equal to the limit of fx1 plus delta x minus fx1 divided by delta x as delta x approaches zero and this is the formal definition of the derivative at the point x1 um, let's start with a, let's do an example so example let fx be equal to 2x plus 1 find the derivative of f at x1 equal 3. We start with the definition of the derivative being equal to the slope of the tangent which is given by the limit of f x1 plus delta x minus f of x1 divided by delta x and the limit is to be calculated as x as delta x approaches zero now mt is equal to the limit of now fx1 plus delta x is equal to 2 x1 plus delta x plus 1 minus fx1 is equal to 2x1 plus 1 divided by delta x as delta x approaches 0 now x1 is equal to 3 minus 2 times 3 here plus 1 divided by delta x the limit is to be calculated as delta x approaches 0 and the limit again equal 6 plus 2 delta x delta x plus 1 minus 6 minus 1 over delta x as delta x approaches 0 now this will simplify 6 minus 6 and 1 minus 1 we end up with 2 delta x over delta x which is equal to 2 and the limit of a constant of the constant 2 as x approaches 0 is equal to 2. Now we note that the derivative which is the slope of the uh, tangent at x1 equal to 3 is equal to the slope of the line itself. That's because the tangent to a line is the line itself and therefore they've got the same slope.